Hey everyone, it's Amy Astro here and welcome back. This week, we're going to answer one of our viewer questions. And it's a question I've received a lot lately and it is basically, what is all of that mess underneath your scope? We can't see it, we're curious, tell us all about it. So, this week we're gonna talk about what's under that hood. may recall that this is my brand new scope that we are calling the Star Maiden build and it is one of the Altair Astro Star Wave 80 millimeter ED triplet scopes with one of their um, guide scopes on it. It's paired up with a ZWO ASI 183 color camera and it's the cooled version and I've got a mini PC and I've got the Pegasus Astro Ultimate Power Box sitting here. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to give you an up close picture of what's going on basically below the scope because it is really hard to tell with all of those cables tied back. All right, you'll see that the scope is being held up by two riser bars, okay? Those are Stellar View riser bars, and they are sitting right here and right here. And on top of those riser bars are a couple of Los Mondi dovetail brackets, okay? And that allows me to clip the telescope into the bracket. Now there's one screw going from the top of this dovetail. It feeds through the riser, and it threads into the Los Mondi bar here. And the bar that's on the bottom is the Dupe 14. It's a 14 inch long bar. And that allows me to support all of these items on here. Now what's going on between the two riser bars is a Pegasus Astro Ultimate Power Box version 2. Now this power box, it supports my power, my USB distribution, it also controls my focus motor, and let's see, what else does it do? Oh, it has a temperature sensor on the front that plugs into it through this cable here, and it will handle my dew heaters also. It will handle up to three dew heaters, and I'm currently using two. This is the main power supply, and this cable comes included, and it comes with some of these other power um, plugs. One is going to the moonlight, autofocuser and the other is coming over here to the ZWO cool function of the camera. Now I have my main USB 3 here going from the camera and it is feeding all by itself. I notice it tends to work better if I can feed it by itself to the computer and it's using the one USB 3 port on the Minix computer. And it also has one, two, three other USB 2 ports and one is connecting to the Pegasus Astro over here. And this is the main control of it. But the Pegasus Astro box also has four USB 3 ports and two USB 2 ports. It has an adjustable output on here. This is the temperature sensor and this is the 12 volt that's always on. And it runs down to the mount itself, okay? So here's the power for the mount, here's communication for the mount, and hidden in here, I've got my Anderson power pole. This is power to everything up here on the scope. This is the only cable that goes completely off the scope. All right, also what's going on here is, let's start down here here is my ZWO ASI 183 color cool camera. I've got some various spacer plates in here to accomplish my back focus. And I have an 8X reducer, okay? It's going into the moonlight focuser. It's a high speed stepper motor. 
And what I've got here is double-sided taped onto the back of the Moonlight. That is a Rigel finder scope. That's just like the Telrad. It has the same little buttons on the back so it's easy to adjust. It's just in a nice small package, okay? It's not the really big clunky Telrad that we're used to seeing. And I found this works just as well, all right? So we've got our main imaging scope here, which is my Altair Astro Starwave 80 millimeter ED triplet, along with their matching guide scope and guide camera. Really nice little package I've got going on here. But by building everything up on these riser plates and dovetails, this whole top piece can be removed and I can put a different telescope on there if I should so desire. So that's what I've got going on underneath. You know, it's a lot of compact going on. Uh, you can see I've got all my cables are bundled up in this air gap. And these are the cables that I couldn't shorten. I tend to shorten my cables whenever I can. Because right now, my only route is using everything on scope. I like having everything compact. I have this one nice little package that will... I pick it up, I drop it on the mount, and I'm ready to go. There's no setup required. I really feel bad for those folks that show up with all these little boxes of cameras and scopes and guide scopes and they have to assemble everything out in the field. It kind of takes the fun out of things where having one nice unit that drops on, it really improves your productivity and you can get out there and play a whole lot quicker. And this was my way of cutting some time with setup because I don't have an observatory. I don't have a pier or anything outside. I set up and break down every single night. So this was my solution to saving a little bit of time. Well, I hope you guys liked that video of me showing you guys what was underneath the scope. And I hope it's a little clearer to you. Um, if you like this type of video, please consider subscribing. Hit that alert bell so you know when I upload new astro-related material. Hit the like and share this video with all of your astro friends. All right, I need all of y'all, so come on by. Uh, this last week, I have opened up a gear store over there with Redbubble, and it's got some t-shirts, some mugs, some pads, papers, whatevers. You know, just basically some cool stuff. I partnered up with Fiverr and got a design built just for our um, our shirt. I'm really proud of it. I think you guys are all going to like it a lot. So go check out that store. I'll have a link for it below. And you can also find that link over on my Facebook page as Amy Astro. And check me out on my website, amyastro.com. My gosh, guys, I seem to be popping up everywhere lately. What's up with this? I don't know. But, you know. Why not? Isn't that what everybody does? We just kind of branch out to all these different things. But next week, I plan on doing a little bit of traveling. I have a road trip coming up that's caught me by surprise, but it's a good road trip, and I think you guys will be excited for this one. I am actually going to be helping somebody deliver a dog to their forever home. So what I'm hoping is between my house and my destination, I have the opportunity to find an astronomy store. So this week I'm going to be Googling and I'm going to try to find out where they're all hiding at. And I hope to step foot in some because that would just be really neat. I've never stepped foot in a real astronomy store, so I'm looking forward to that. So wish me luck on finding one. Okay, so until next time guys, have some clear skies, some great health, and I will see you all in the next video. I love all of y'all. Goodbye, y'all.